bit of a different video today here on the Retro Core channel because we're going to be doing hardware review versus life in Japan. And this is the reason why. So yeah, this is a bit of a weird one for the RetroCore channel, but we are going to be taking a look at a gimbal. And this particular gimbal is by Xiaomi. Now, why am I using a Xiaomi gimbal? Well, because I have a Xiaomi phone. And this was very kindly sent over to me by the people at TomTop. So yeah, why not review it? Anyway, what we're gonna do first is take a look at the actual gimbal itself. And here it is. Oh yes, it looks like a very floppy mess, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Now this thing you see here on the top, this thing here, that is actually a counterweight. And the reason the counterweight is on there is because my phone is pretty big and quite heavy. So it doesn't quite work with this gimbal properly, so I need a counterweight to balance it out. But yeah. So we're taking a look at the gimbal itself. You can see it's very ergonomically designed. Very nice to hold as well. Feels very good in the hand. Very solid construction as well. And it's padded for protection of your phone. As usual with these type of things, we've got an adjustment here so we can bring out the arm to accommodate larger phones. But that does have a problem with some phones and my phone is included. I'll show you about that later on. You can also rotate this bit here by adjusting the tension here and spin it that way so you can have a vertically orientated video. I don't want to do that, who knows, but some people seem to like that. The actual gimbal itself has some controls on it. So we've got uh, power on button here so we press that and it will power up and it will try and orientate itself but because it hasn't got a phone in it it won't do anything but it has kind of stiffened up here so we'll just switch that off for now we also have a photograph button so we can take uh, photographs via wireless connection we have a joystick here which moves the gimbal in eight directions so we go up down left right and we can go diagonally as well on this side, we've got a USB out. Oh, sorry, a USB in and out. So you can use this. This is actually micro USB, you can see here. So you can use this to charge the internal 5,000 milliamp battery or also connect your mobile phone to this and use this as a battery charger. Very handy indeed. On the back, we've got another button here. This basically straightens up the gimbal if you've got it all out of shape. And here we have a zoom option, so you can zoom in or zoom out, again, using wireless connectivity. On the bottom, we have a standard tripod mount. So you can uh, put this onto a tripod and stand it up if you wish. At the bottom of the device, you can see the little icons here. So if you press that up, they light up. And that is basically your battery, battery indicator. And as you can see at the moment, we have three levels of battery. So, oh no, we're just going down to half. So we've got half a battery left. So about 2,500 milliamps left on this. Okay, so let's connect up a phone and show you what it looks like with the phone inside. And the phone we're going to be using is this one here. This is a Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Pro. So let's get a little bit closer to this. So here we are with my own personal phone. I've been using this for about one year now and I absolutely love it. I've had no issues at all. Now, it does have very good specs, like eight gig of memory, 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and you know, great chipset and all that. Oh, LED screen and a lot of it. But um, that's not the reason why I bought this. The reason I bought this phone was because of the cameras. As you can see here, 108 megapixel. Yes, it does have a 108 megapixel camera. The amount of detail this thing picks up is amazing. But not only that, it has six Yes, six bloody cameras on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is nuts. Six cameras on a mobile phone. So of course you can do all sorts of different uh, trick photography, has a good feel of, field of depth. Um, it does 4K and so on. But like all mobile phones, the image stabilization is not amazing. I mean, it works, it's good for the mobile phone, but it's nowhere near as good as the real thing. So that's why a gimbal is very important. So let me show you 
um, one of the disadvantages of having a big phone like this on a gimbal. All right, so we've got the phone in the gimbal and as you can see, it's just a complete and utter floppy mess. <laughs> now, if I didn't have this counterweight on here, the whole, the whole uh, top of the gimbal would be uh, down like this. It would basically just flop down because of the weight of the phone. It is a big phone. So the counterweight is necessary. Now the gimbal will work without the counterweight, but that means the top motor up here is constantly working away and that will drain your battery like crazy. So you don't want that motor constantly working, trying to keep the phone upright, when you can basically do the same thing with the counterweight on the side. So we switch on the gimbal and it will orientate itself. There you go, as you can see, perfectly smooth. And I can show you some of these operations in action, see? So we can tilt it side to side there. We can also rotate the phone up and down. Some nice smooth action. There's no noise from the motors, so it's really nice and cool. And see, we can do multi as well. So we've got diagonally going there. All right, so it is very, very easy to use. Also, if you twist your arm, the phone stays where it is. Now on this phone, because of the way the cameras are orientated, let me just spin it around so you can take a look. Oops, uh, like this. So let me just spin it around a little bit. I'm kind of panning the, up there. Okay, so you can see the lenses there. Now this is the 60 frames per second lens that I'm using. Oh, by the way, don't worry about the case. I just use this case when I use the gimbal so I'm not to scratch up the phone. Um, but this lens, because of its field of view, picks up this. So that is a bit of an issue. So what I have to do is when I use the gimbal, um, just let's re reorientate it by pressing the M button on the back. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Orientate that please. There we go, back to normal. So when I use the gimbal, I have to use it like this. So that back bar is not in the way of the camera. So you'll see what I mean by that when we look at the demonstration video coming up right now. So let's head on over to the other part of my channel, Life in Japan. Okay guys, so here we are in a bit of an industrial part of the city and there is, can you see in the background, this temple up there. Now I go past this temple every single day on the way to work. I must have been past it about four or five times a week for the last I don't know, 10 years and I've never ever been up here. So this is going to be a great test for the gimbal and see how well it supports uh, going up those stairs without, you know, bouncing all over the place. So let's switch to the front facing camera. We're going to record this in 1080p at 60 frames per second and uh, we'll see how it works. All right, let's switch over cameras. All right, so here we go, walking up these stairs. Okay, let's uh, let's run up a few and see how it handles that. Okay, I'm doing two steps at once here. I think that's handling it pretty well. Ooh, got up there pretty quick, didn't we? Okay. Jeez, oh, I'm knocking now. So, if you're wondering why my voice is a bit muffled, it's because I've got the mask on. There you go. Let's pull that down a little bit. Yes. <sighs> okay, now I'll just show you a little problem. Come knock it. <laughs> I'll show you a little problem I have with this gimbal. So if I hold it perfectly straight. So the handle is vertically up. You can see over here, you can see the uh, side of the gimbal. And that's basically because of uh, how the, um, geez, I'm knackered, <laughs> how the cameras are set up on this phone. So I have to hold the gimbal at a slight angle so about to get that in focus. So while we're here, we'll give the joystick a little bit, little bit of a try. So you can see, you can pan up and down. Very smooth as well. And we can also spin the camera around. 
if we hold it in the horizontal viewpoint, you can get a nice panoramic shot and even see me with my mask down by my chin, chin diaper. Should get a good uh, stereo effect there as well. I'm pressing the button on the back, we'll reset the camera back to its straight orientation. Okay, let's continue up the steps, but first, let's take a look over here. Up some more steps. Wow, maybe there was a house here at one point. Hmm, who knows? All right, let's go up to the temple and see what it's like. I hope there's no priests up here because they might stop me from filming. Two steps at once again. Okay, here we are. Alright. So we've got a hand sanitizer there. And what that's for want to just the camera tilt here if you want to drink out of that water or wash your hands I should say there's usually little spatulas around but today doesn't seem to be any actually somebody in the office over there so maybe we can't walk around filming a little praying temple over here let's go and take a look something over there can you see Here. Some little bells up here which you ring when you put your money in this box when you say a prayer. I don't really see any reflection on the glasses too bad. So there we go, that was a look at the gimbal in action around that temple. And uh, yeah, I think um, it seemed to work pretty well, didn't it? Got to be careful I'm walking down the stairs while filming this, looking at the uh, phone. Um, so yeah, let's uh, head on back over to the studio. Well, I say studio, more like games room. And um, we'll uh, round up this video. All right. 
So there we have it, that is the Xiaomi gimbal and I think it did perform pretty well on the test we just saw, yeah, walking up those steps on the temple. If I was not using a gimbal, the phone would have been going everywhere, the image would have been a complete mess. And yeah, it was very smooth, it was, you know, it's pretty decent, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool seeing myself here on the viewfinder on the camera. There we go, yay, double images. <laughs> and also on the phone here. Anyway. So there it is, that is the Xiaomi gimbal. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description down below to this particular gimbal which uh, I'm using or which was presented to me. And um, while you're there, check out the other gimbals on the store. They have uh, loads of different types. Um, maybe this may not be suited to you, but uh, if it isn't, there will be one that is suited to you. So anyway, check out the link in the video description down below and I'll see you in the next video, guys, where we take a look at some more Japanese hardware. Sorry, Chinese hardware. <laughs> Until then, take it easy. See ya.